In this video from the studiofiles.com, I'm going to show you how to use buses and aux tracks to set up effects in Logic Pro. Now I have a voice sample recorded here from me. You can listen to it. It's the dry version, which means no effects. Test. We are testing my voice with effects on, such as reverb and delay. Interesting, huh? Okay, so let's put some reverb on that first. Go to the mixer window with Apple II. Now you'll notice I've got two aux tracks here already. Don't worry about those. Those are tracks that I've set up in advance to route the audio to my recording program so that you guys can hear what's going on. So here's my voice track. Up in the sends area, click and hold on that, and you'll see there are 64 different buses available in Logic. Let's go ahead and pick bus 10 to be our reverb bus. Now when you do that, notice Logic automatically created an aux track with the input of bus 10. Let's label that reverb by double clicking the name. Now, we need to insert a reverb plugin so that any audio coming to this aux track will be processed with reverb. So let's just pick Space Designer, Mono to Stereo. Now to get started, sometimes these programs can be a little confusing, so I would highly recommend using a preset using the menu up here. Now let's pick medium space, a plate, and how about an ice plate? Logic will automatically load it up in here. Now we'll close the window. Now by dialing up this knob, we'll start adding more and more reverb to my voice. Here's the sample with a little bit of reverb. I'll hit the space bar to play. Test. We are testing my voice with effects on, such as reverb and delay. Test. Now let's dial it up way up so you can really hear it. Test. We are testing my voice with effects on, such as reverb and delay. Great. So let's turn that down for now. Now I'm going to show you how to do a delay. So use your next send. And let's just use the next available bus, which would be bus 11. Again, Logic automatically creates a new aux track with the input of bus 11. So let's label this delay. Now rather than just putting a plugin in, let's do something that's really cool in Logic. Up here in the settings box, click and hold on that. And you can see Logic has a bunch of pre-made delays from the channel strips that you can choose from. Let's choose a uh, tape quarter note dotted. And notice how Logic automatically put in a compressor, a channel EQ, and the tape delay. Let's open that up. Logic probably used one of its own presets, which you could also do by clicking in this box and just picking whatever one you wanted. Let's hit dial up some delay then and we'll hit play and hear what it sounds like test test test, test. we are testing, we are testing my, my voice, voice with effects, effects, on, on, effects on such as, such as reverb, reverb and, and delay, delay. Test, 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 test all right now let's put a little bit of delay and a little bit of reverb on and hear them together we are testing my voice with effects on such as reverb and delay test, 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 test. So I, I would recommend experimenting a couple different ways. First, by inserting your own plugins and using your settings, and then also try out the channel strip settings up here because they're really useful and really quick.